A lot of my students have gone on to do impressive things and of all the companies and ICT innovations that we talked about in the opening ceremony, most of them have my employees, well, as employees have some of my students working there. But the thing that I'm most pleased about are much smaller than that. I have two examples. One is from the start of my teaching career. I had a student, a girl, who was um, lost her confidence and wanted to drop out. She was a bit, um, she was upset and she was stressed and she didn't think she could make it. And I found later on that she had actually done a course a couple of times before, three or four, and failed them each time. And I, for some reason, felt that she could make it and I encouraged her and had faith in her and tried to get her to have faith in herself and the rest of the class. They're a lovely class, there's 400 of them, but they're very close. All worked together to support her too. And she stuck with it to the end. And not only did she pass, she ended up getting a high distinction, which is a really rare honor. And at the end of the course, she gave me a card and on the card it said something like, now I can tell my mum that I'm not a failure anymore. And that was very special for me. And she's gone on to do amazing things. The other thing that I, another example, a recent one, is just two weeks ago we had a big prac exam. It's an intimidating thing for the students. 200 of them sit at one day, 200 of them sit at a week later. When it came around to the second prac exam, one of the students from the first prac exam turned up two hours before the exam and just set up a table and started helping people study. For no reason, he just wanted to come along and help people. Some of the students later on told me they thought he was an employee of the uni coming to help. And some of the students after the exam said it was his help that helped them pass. And he just did that himself. These are the things that make me so proud to be a teacher. Being a teacher is a hard life. It's a lot of, well it's not a hard life, it's a lot of hard work and a lot of hours. And there are many rewards you get from the students. It's a very, an amazingly fulfilling job. But it is hard. And getting recognition or support in this way is more encouraging than you can know. I'd really like to thank you for doing this thing to support and acknowledge teachers. I feel like a bit of a fraud because I know there are hundreds of ICT teachers who are busting a gut to help their students and very dedicated and passionate and doing the best thing they can for their kids to help them. Please do this award again next year and try and have a hundred of them. The potential of technology is mind numbing. It, it, it is literally beyond comprehension and beyond prediction. I mean, it's not beyond prediction, but it's, who knows what it's gonna be. Every 10 years, we're in a place that looks so foreign compared to where we were 10 years ago. And I don't see that stopping in the medium term. There's two things though that I would like us to have achieved in 10 years time. One is, I think it's really important that ICT practitioners are professionals, are regarded by others as being professionals and regard themselves as being professionals. And I think that's something we've still got to change. It's a serious profession doing wonderful things in the world. We need some sort of way of people supporting each other and acting in a professional way of engaging in continuous education and professional development and having a sense of professional standards and responsibilities beyond just making a buck, but towards looking after the profession and society as a whole. In much the same way that engineers, doctors and lawyers, even accountants have a higher duty than simply the bottom line. Um, they have a duty to their profession. I think that's really important for ICT and we don't have it yet. Um, the other thing I'd like is, I think there's an enormous loss of potential. People who would love to have a life in ICT, being an ICT professional, creating, designing and building, who never picked a career. And I think it's really down to education. I would like us to do a better job of inspiring and showing young students from primary school up, I think high school's almost too late, the excitement of designing where your imagination is the only limit and of building things that solve problems that have until now seemed unsolvable in society. It's exhilarating and it's fantastic as a life and they're not picking it, they're becoming accountants or economists or um, marketing people or sales people or whatever. I think people are following the buck. 
I don't know why, but I'd love us to do a better job at showing them because I'm sure that were people to understand the potential life they could have in ICT, um, I think a lot of people would choose to follow that life.